previous video, we talked about the chart command, which is basically uh, very similar to stats that can be used interchangeably. We're now going to talk about a much more uh, focused chart, and that's the time chart. The time chart has is a little different than the chart. Chart can take an X and a Y field, so the by field, so you do a stats, a chart, by, and then your X and your Y field. But in a time chart, you actually don't supply a second field because time is naturally implied in it. And so your X axis is always going to be time. Anything you do with time chart will have an X. You can supply one other field to uh, sort by, but you can't do anything else. So that's just an important thing to remember with the time chart. I'll show, we'll put it in, show it in practice. So if I do an index equals lame training, I can do a stat, a chart, count by, time and something like this and that would be a time x this would be your x-axis this would be your y-axis and it would display it but if we use a time chart we don't need to use time and i'm actually going to take the source ip out we're just going to actually use the fact that i'm going to count that's all i need right there and so i'm going to do a time chart count if i look at the last 24 hours Splunk's going to come back and it's going to choose how it wants to uh, visually show this to me. And the one thing I have is I am at the mercy of how Splunk chooses to break this data up. I cannot choose how it wants to do it. So one of the things the nice thing about time chart is I can use the span command and I can say I want to break this up into one minute increments. And now it will actually display all these things. You'll see one minute chunks down on the timeline. Um, I can make this one hour. And so then I'll have just, we can see the, the jumps from an hour. I can make this go, let's make this run 30 days and I'm gonna span it one day. And s the other cool thing you can do one last thing, and I really like this when I want to compare uh, different weeks or something. I want to compare data that is, uh, what is the normal activity on my network on Mondays at this time? And so I can use the time wrap command, and let's say I've, I've opened this up to the last 30 days, and I can go one week. And if I run that, it'll actually stack all of the so i can see the latest week it's now the orange bar one week before two weeks before three weeks before and we can see oh you know what all this data more or less follows the same pattern and boom something occurred on november 12th it had a massive spike that might be something i want to go investigate and so i can see what is normal based over time and you'll see there might be spikes but it might be a spike that occurs every week because it's backups or it's updates or something like that and so if you use the time wrap command after you use a time chart you can actually wrap things together. You could do one week, one day, one month. Uh, the time wrap gives you lots of different options. And so I really like the uh, I really like the time wrap command. I like the time chart. It's a good way of kind of getting an idea of what is normal in your environment. Um, I hope this helps. If you like it, please uh, uh, give this uh, video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I hope this helps you on your trip from being a lame analyst to a Splunk Ninja.